Welcome, uh, WevTech. This is Jeff Bergman. I'm the Business Development Manager for ABB, and very specifically the ACQ580 Variable Frequency Drives. Uh, you know, we're here at WevTech, we're talking to a lot of our customers. Uh, we have a lot of people coming by talking with us, with engineers and end users, uh, talking about power quality, talking about the emergency backup systems, the resilience and reliance of the system. So, uh, we've got a couple of things that can kind of address those issues in here. Uh, we make a product called the ACQ580, and we offer that in a version called Ultra Low Harmonic. The Ultra Low Harmonic, it, it mainly deals with the power quality issues we've got in the industry. We've got some issues uh, with the generated power coming in, whether it's coming from the utility side. We've also got some issues with the generator side. We maybe uh, we've got an oversized or perhaps an undersized generator. The VFD can help accommodate those with the way that it addresses the power quality issues inside of the VFD. We've got applications where we've got under voltage situations. Uh, this may be a case where uh, we have a, a lower voltage, maybe a, on a 40 volt distribution system, we have a 440 volt or lower distribution. Uh, coming from the utility side or the generator is overloaded and the voltage is dropping, with our variable frequency drive we can optimize and produce the output voltage at the voltage the motor wants to see. Then the motor draws a kernel wants to draw, that's a, that's a motor running at the best operating efficiency. Uh, we also have a, a situation of voltage unbalance. Uh, we get this a lot of times on the, on the utility side, we get this for free from the utility, uh, but sometimes on a generator where our loads are unbalanced, we may get a voltage unbalance. And that affects the power quality into the VFD. In a lot of the older VFDs, it, it gives them problems when there are operations. Uh, with the ACQ580 ULH offering, we can uh, maintain uniform voltage on the output, uh, address the under voltage, and make the system run more stably. Now, poor power quality comes both ways. Their, their utility and the generators may have poor power quality, or maybe they're giving us very good, smooth sine waveforms. But the variable frequency drive creates something called electrical harmonics. Uh, harmonics can cause distortion, and that could affect your ultrasonic level controls, your PLCs, your power supplies in the systems, uh, uh, radios, uh, and other equipment inside of there. With a, with a harmonic uh, f uh, reflected back into the system, so what the VFD does, it pulls in a more uniform manner, instead of just being on six pulses, it does a more uniform manner and gives us a more linear loading on the utility or on the generator, so it's a more uniform power. So what we end up with is a more generator-friendly variable frequency drive experience. So you know, there are some times that from a resilience point of view, from a, an aging infrastructure issue, when we're applying a variable frequency drive, we may not have enough transformer capacity, we may not have enough uh, generator capacity. Uh, and in those cases, the ultra-low harmonic drive uh, in, the, in the simple design, in the smaller frames, this is a 150 horsepower product here, we allow, we now have the ability to do retrofits and we don't increase the load on the system because of the power quality that the ULH brings into the system. Now, from a resilience point of view, there's a lot of times in a system we're running on a SCADA. We've got a master system operating the, the VFD telling it what to do. We give it a, a run command, we give it a speed control, and that's how the VFD is running. But when you've got a situation where you lose your, your controls, uh, your PLC goes down, or you lose your connection, the VFD is smart enough to sit back and go into its backup routines. By engaging the pump parameters inside of the VFD, we can offer the protections that are coming and being provided by the SCADA system or the building management system or the overall operating system. We can, we can, re, we can reproduce those inside of the ACQ580, so you've got 100% redundancy in your system. This will help you, again, on the aging infrastructure for the older systems where we've got uh, uh, communication problems, we've got noise in the systems, those kind of things. Having this kind of backup inside of the VFD, it just gives you more peace of mind uh, and, and makes the system a little bit more reliable, able to operate. A lot of pump features inside of here, including the pump clean feature where we actually can derag the pump impeller uh, in the system. Uh, you don't have to pull the pump out. You don't have to send a maintenance crew out there to pull the pump out, do the, do the equipment change. Uh, this is just a simple system where we rock the impeller backwards and forwards and dislodge the strings and the solids building up on the impeller. Other, other features, uh, depending on what your applications are, for level control, if you're doing constant pressure, constant level, constant DO, all of those features are built into the VFD utilizing the PID controller. Take the feedback from the, the, the uh, automated system or the detection system, the analytical equipment, giving us a signal, and the VFD will maintain that constant pressure, constant level, constant control we're looking for. If you're interested in getting in touch with ABB, you can uh, reach out to, to me myself. You can check us at abb.com uh, or uh, reference us via the LinkedIn call. We work through an organization of manufacturers reps across the United States that will give you the support and service for this product.